Hey guys, I'm going to make a BVR practice mission for you and show you how you can do it and edit it to learn how to fight different types of planes in different conditions. This is a intermediate at best level of mission building, but I think you newer guys will really benefit from it. All right, so let's get right into it. First, we're going to make a friendly plane. Drop it right there. Let's call him BBR. This will be a Viper. And we'll make him a client. And we will give him a nice skin. I'm partial to this one. And let's give him a loadout of just six missiles, no tanks. Okay, we're going to put him at 25,000 feet. And let's make his speed to start 600. Okay, and He's going to be heading due north, so we don't even have to give him a waypoint. We want him to go that way. Okay, so now we need an adversary. We're going to call this guy, let's call him MiG-29S. Choose from the drop down, combine joint task forces red. And we'll get a MIG here. And he's going to be an ace. And let's give him this loadout here. Give him a waypoint. We're going to put the waypoint about right there. And let's get that speed back up to 600. And you can change all these things to experiment while you're learning the ins and outs of beyond visual range combat. Okay, so we're going to make sure that he goes only after this guy by going into advanced waypoint actions we click on cap there and in the drop down we're going to choose search then engage group and the group you guessed it is BVR so he will only go after someone in this group of which there's only one play now but we can change that too if you'd like so now we just need to add some AWACS to the mission. So let's, we'll start off, we'll just go like this. That did not work. Why not? Well, we know we want an E3A. Let's call them magic. And let's put him down here. I'm going to change this to magic here. That's his call sign. And let's put him up at 30,000 feet so he can see far. I'm going to give him a waypoint here. And we're going to go back and we're going to click on add and we're going to make him orbit. You see there's a racetrack and he'll stay at 30,000. I click edit so I can click out. So now I'll be able to see something on my HSD and contacts on my radar, even if I can't see them yet. And we'll do the same for this guy. It wouldn't be fair if we didn't. 
we'll put a we'll put an A fifty here and we'll just call him A wax. Oh no, let's see. We'll call him Overlord. I just like to make the names match. Don't ask me why. You don't need to. Okay, so he should do, be doing the same things. We'll just check, and he's got the same orbit. Okay, so that's your basics right there. Nice little battle space. And the cool part about this is that you could change this plane. You can make it two planes. You can make it three planes. Um, you can put, like I'll do it right here. I'm going to make this four. So if you get shot down, you still have three planes. You could hop into the next one, even if you're playing in single player. All right, so let's test this out. Let's see how it works. All right, so we just choose one of the flights. This guy's already up in the air, we see here. And the first thing we want to do when we join, we want to go fast. So let's go burner. Fence in. And there he is, right where we put him. Get our speed up. There he is. We give him a nice hard lock. And we see he's 40 miles away. gonna loft this baby when we fire it. Here we go. Fox 3. Now I'm gonna crank all the way over here. There's a 46 degree crank. You can see it there. And I'm letting myself get nice and slow so I don't help his missile out. to go pit bull. Close, I'm gonna speed up. And I'm just gonna pull off a little bit. Let's see what he does. He's still coming at me pretty strong. Let's see if we can get back in. Fire at him again. Fox 3. He fired at us. We're going to go all the way over. Go again. And wait for Pitbull. There we are, Pitbull. Looks like we got him. There he goes. Good night, sir. All right, so let's go back to our mission. We'll quit this. And just realize here that you can change all of these parameters, altitude, speed, loadout,
type of plane just by going in and selecting a different plane here. And that's pretty much it. That'll get you started. And I guarantee that between this and Tac View, uh, if you use Tac View, you'll definitely get better and have a better idea of what's going on around you. All right. If you have any questions, just leave them below and I'll be glad to answer them. See you later, guys.